Hi, this is an LG 42 inch LCD 5010 model TV. Um, it's been breaking for quite a while. The symptoms were the screen would flicker, particularly the left hand side, um, but the right hand side would flicker if the TV was nudged. Um, on taking the TV apart, uh, I did some basic inspections and found that the TV was getting power, so the PSU board was okay. Um, the backlights were working, so both inverters. Uh, there's two inverters on the rear, which I'll see in a second. The left inverter and the right inverter were uh, functional. The backlights were okay, so they're fine. Um, the other board was the main board that processes the signal and takes the inputs from the HDMI, the PCRGB cable, etc. Um, when the TV actually works, uh, it processes the signal. I mean, as you can see on the bottom right there, uh, the Windows Media Player toolbar is uh, showing OK. So when the TV screen is in its happiest state after being nudged, um, it does display the picture correctly. So the AV board, the main board, uh, appears to be working. Uh, the other board that's on there, the only board that's left, is the TCOM board which uh, I disconnected um, and reconnected the ribbon cables both at the um, outputs from the TCON and the inputs to the driver boards which they're the driver boards there. So I'll just show you around the back and explain what I did. So here we have the main PSU board as I said the power was okay so that to me wasn't a problem with the PSU board. I checked visually the capacitors anyway and they all look good. Uh, this is the inverter for the right hand side of the screen and this is the inverter for the left hand side of the screen. As you can see the backlights both work so the inverters are fine. This is the main AV board and obviously it's got the inputs and the cable that runs up from the output of the inputs to the uh, TCOM board, or what they call the timing control board, and this takes the signal and passes it out between these two ports, one for the right hand side of the screen, the other for the left hand side of the screen, and those two ribbon cables, which are easy to take out, there's a little black clip here which you lift, so don't try and pull it out because you have to lift the flap and then it will come out freely. Those two cables go off to the top of the monitor. Uh, or the TV and you can see the right hand side ribbon cable here has gone to a little thin circuit board which runs along the top of the right hand side of the TV pretty much the full length of the uh, of the TV and then the other side the other ribbon cable for the left hand side same again you can see the boards aren't joined there's a separate board driver board they call it that runs across the top of the screen to the end so what happens is the signal that comes in from the inputs is processed by the main AV board, the main processing board, sent out through this cable up to the timing control board, which then takes the signal and turns it into a synchronized timing signal, which gets passed out to these two cables to then display and tell the plasma screen what to display on the actual screen. And the way it does that, it takes the signals out of here. These driver boards then take those signals and they pass it out these ribbons here I don't know if you can see that ribbon there there's another one there there's another one there and there's another one there so on these driver boards at the top there are four ribbons on the left and four ribbons on the right if looking from the rear so the, t the, the timing signals come out of the control board onto those driver boards and then down the little ribbons, which then display, or tell the plasma display what it needs to show on the screen. So these are the ribbons coming over the TV screen, over the top of the TV screen, down into the actual plasma, uh, sorry, LCD display panel. So having checked the rear boards, um, the TCOM board I thought would be okay because it was the only other board in question because the TCOM board, if you um, 
have a problem with the TCOM board, then I would expect the panel not to work at all. Um, what happens is sometimes when the TV's warmed up, other times when it's been tapped in the right place uh, and it's settled correctly, the TV works fine. The picture's fine, it's like there's no problem. So the TCOM board for me, I think, is okay. I'm not an electrical expert. I don't fix TVs for a living, um, but I do like to fix things. So I then looked at the only other boards that are on the TV, which are these driver boards at the top. So now normally the TV's on. If I press this ribbon here, you can see it's upsetting the signal on the TV. That one doesn't, that one seems okay. That one seems okay. That one's caused the screen to go normal. So, and this one, no change. This one, no change. This one, the end on the right, does cause A small amount of flickering if pushed on the right hand side. There you go, you can see it in the background. So it does appear, that one's not doing it now. This one does. This is the main one that seems to have the problem. So unfortunately, for me, it looks like my 42 inch LCD TV uh, has a problem with the actual main uh, panel, the LCD panel. And the problem is uh, those ribbon connectors Primarily the top left, the top left two and the far right one. Uh, when tapped, they do cause the screen to have problems. Now I know it's a very fine signal that goes over these ribbon cables, but they're obviously protected. And as you can see with some of them, oops, the laptop's gone off. Let's bring that back to life. As with some of them, that one's broken, has a problem. This one's not too bad. The other ones in the middle tend to be fine. I could tap those and there's no damage. So it definitely is the LCD panel. A new LCD panel would come with the ribbon connectors and the driver boards at the top. But in this case, um, it's a bit expensive really to go replacing the LCD panel uh, for a 42 inch TV. So what I'm gonna try and do is just find a comfortable position for those ribbons because obviously now if you look at the screen it's working it's not a problem so i just need to find a comfortable position for those ribbons and then using maybe some tape masking tape just yeah, it's tricky but just maybe try and fix it down into a position where uh, it's happy and the tv will work as normal so uh yeah i did a lot of looking around on youtube uh, that's the conclusion I came to um, and there are some basic tips there if the PSU boards faulty the TV will have no power if the inverters are faulty then you'll have no backlight if it's um, a signal processing then it'll be the main board um, what ways of finding out is if you try the actual input a different input um, and if it's flickering and stuff like that then it could be either the driver boards, i.e. the uh, the LCD panel, or the uh, TCOM board at the back, the timing board. Um, and the way to find out really is just to do that test I've done with the ribbons on the front. That proves to me that it is actually the LCD panel. Maybe the TV took a knock in transit. I don't know, but uh, it's broken. So uh, I'm gonna try and fix it if I have any success. Um, I might post another video explaining what I did, but uh, I got the missus coming home in probably just over an hour from Chicago, back to the UK, so I really need to get a move on. Okay, thank you, hope it helps, bye.